Hey everyone, Dustin here from Dustin's Travels. And how many days should you spend in Yellowstone National Park? Today we're gonna answer that question. Let's go. So, great idea, you're decided you're gonna go to Yellowstone National Park, the first national park in the entire world, the size of Rhode Island, two plus million acres of beautiful land, most of it undeveloped, so very excited for you to be going to Yellowstone National Park. How many days do you need to spend there to really see and absorb everything? Um, a couple things with that. Um, Part of the beauty of, of Yellowstone is not just rushing from point A to point B and just looking at it. Like if you're going to go visit Paris or some big city, right, there's certain monuments you want to hit and your just goal is to get to those monuments. Yellowstone is not like that. You Part of the journey is going from point A to point B. It's experiencing the beautiful nature. It's seeing the animals along the way. Many animals you're going to see are while you're driving. And you'll see them pulled out, people pulled over watching them. They could be bears. They could be uh, wolves. They could be definitely going to be bison and elk. Um, so that's part of the beauty. So you don't want to be rushing from point A to point B. So just keep that in mind. Um, now, how much time do you need to spend? You could easily spend months in Yellowstone. They have so many trails where you can go backpacking, um, camping out in the backcountry and things like that. So obviously you definitely could spend months. Most places like that, if you really dig in, you could spend months. But if you want to just kind of really hit the basics, have an enjoyable time with your family, you know, most people don't have months to take off and, and spend. If you want to have an enjoyable time with your family, I'd say a minimum of four days you would need in Yellowstone. A minimum of four days. If you could do five or six, it's going to be a little bit better. Uh, you won't be as rushed. You could push it to three days if you want, but you're not going to see everything and you're going to be rushing a little bit, um, which is sort of counter the experience you want to have at Yellowstone. It's more of a peaceful calming uh thing than it is go see a bunch of sites so keep that in mind i think four days is the minimum five ideal if you really have to you could probably do it in three but you're definitely going to miss a few things um so what a cu couple things with that um there's are in yellowstone there are two major loops there's the northern loop and then there's the southern loop so this the northern loop is a little bit smaller than the southern loop so Probably you could do the southern loop in about two and a half days and the northern loop maybe in one and a half days um, if, if that's your itinerary. If you give yourself five days, you'll be able to do those a little slower pace and have an extra day just to kind of chill, relax, um, go spend some time um, in a picnic area or something like that. So um, keep those things in mind. Yellowstone has a lot of places you're going to want to stop along the way. And some of them you'll know ahead of time. Some of them you'll hear from people. Some of them you'll hear from a... Uh, app guide that I, that I talk about in some of the, these Yellowstone videos is called the Gaper Guide from Travel Stories app and he'll tell you, hey, stop at this picnic area, it's right along the river, it's shaded, beautiful, um, things like that. So um, keep those things in mind. Also, as I was saying, you stop along the way at different places. How much time do you want to spend there? Do you want to spend 15 minutes, 30 minutes, several hours, do you want to have lunch? Uh, some of the places are so, so beautiful, even if they were near your normal house, you would want to spend a whole day there, just at a small picnic area, right? That's how great Yellowstone is, how beautiful it is, and really speaks to how much time you could potentially be spending there. Um, so going back to the loops, you've got Old Faithful in the western side, um, and I'll go more in detail about this later, but the western basin, uh, western geyser basin, and then on the southeast side is Yellowstone Lake. You'll probably do that area in a day if you really wanted to, to rush it through. Um, in the northern loop, you've got Mammoth Hot Springs on the northwest. Uh, you've got Lamar Valley on the northeast. And then, um, you know, the Tower Falls. That's going to probably take at least a day. So not rushing, probably add a day to the top and add a day to the bottom. So you're looking at about four days um, in each of those areas. So that's a quick video. How many days should you spend in Yellowstone? In the next couple videos, we're going to talk about where to visit Yellowstone. What are the best experiences to see in Yellowstone? Thanks so much.